Hello again. It's been a while since I last uploaded a video to YouTube, so I thought I'd take a few minutes out this morning and make something new for you. Uh, what I'm going to talk about in this video is specifically a demonstration of setting up a template uh, ready to use for printing sublimation mugs. Um, there are a couple of options when you look at this. Now, initially when I started, I used to use uh, standard you know, A4 sublimation paper, and on a piece of A4 you get about three sort of mug designs per sheet. You print them out, you then have to cut them up uh, and apply them to the mugs. An alternative to that would be to use something like these, which are dyno sublimation paper pre-cut mug wraps. These are sized specifically to go around the mugs, and it just removes the whole process of having to cut things out. Uh, I have found in the past that when I've got a lot of mugs to do, just the time taken to you know, cut in a, a neat sort of straight fashion those three designs out of A4, it does add a lot of time and overhead to the whole process. And if you don't get those cut lines particularly straight, then when you apply it to the mug, you're often going to get crooked designs come out. So there's a bit more wastage involved in it. So these dyno mug wraps, um, as you can see, one side is plain, the other side has uh, a little bit of sort of lettering on it, just so you can work out which way around the go. And uh, these are sized at 24 centimeters by 10 centimeters, um, so slightly larger than 11 ounce mugs. You'd find that if I do position the two together, hopefully you can see that if I have it flush with the bottom of the mug, there is a little bit of sort of kind of overlap at the top. Uh, I do tend to mount them flush to the bottom. Uh, rather than have them sort of centered so at least that way when you apply it you can leave it standing on a table without affecting the wrap okay so what we'll do is we'll get sort of Photoshop fired up and we'll create a brand new file set up all our guides so you can just see how I do that kind of stuff um, I find that when I have a template set up it saves me a lot of time for reuse each time I get a new order I can just fire up the template and I know exactly where to put things so let's create a new file uh, what I'm going to do is I tend to work at 300 dots or pixels per inch. Um, I could go up to 600, but I think with the quality of print on the size of mugs you're dealing with, it's not really that noticeable. Uh, I'll change my width into centimeters, so I can set it at 24 by 10. So let's just create that. There we go, there's my blank mug wrap. If I just zoom out a little bit. Uh, obviously the camera is overlapping slightly but I hope it doesn't impact it too much. Now what I like to do is I like to start off with a dividing centre line so I can see roughly where the middle is uh, and then I kind of work out from there. Uh, one thing to bear in mind with the mug itself is you know I don't tend to want to print at the very very top couple of millimetres or the bottom couple of millimetres and also either side of the handle is about a sort of a two centimetre area that I don't tend to go into because uh, that's where you risk having sort of faded designs. So I do tend to mark those up with my guides. So the first thing in Photoshop, you do need to make sure you've got your rulers available for you. If you don't have those showing, you can go to the view menu, choose rulers or control on R, command R on a Mac to get those things up. Now because my uh, mug wrap is 24 centimeters, it's pretty easy for me to find the middle, which we know is gonna be at 12. So that's the center line. And the center line vertically now if I was working um, on centered paper, of course that'd be five centimeters, but I tend to offset by a couple of millimeters towards the bottom. So I'm gonna do it at around about uh, kind of 5.2 or thereabouts. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I'll do 5.21. So I'm gonna treat that as my sort of center position for the design. Now I'm going to have a guide at the top as well. I'm going to put that around about sort of point point seven. That uh, should do. I'm doing this pretty roughly. And down at the bottom, I'm looking for around about. Okay, I'll give myself a couple of millimeters. So let's do it about nine point sort of six, nine point seven, nine point seven one. That sounds close enough. So that now is my sort of height of the principal area of the mug. Um, I'm then gonna make an allowance for the sort of two centimeters either side of the handle. So let's just put a couple of guides in there. Again, a 
I'm not doing it sort of 100% precision. And um, I will also just give myself from that center mark again some guides at two centimeters either side. So that gives me a nice clean center line. That pretty much is the opposite point of the handle. And if I'm mapping out two centimeters there, I want a mirror on the other side. So that pretty much gives me that's one side of the mug, and that's the other side of the mug. It's that straightforward, pretty quick and easy to do. Um, when I'm printing, if I'm right handed and holding the mug in my right hand, that side is this side of the mug wrap. And of course that's the opposite side. So you know if I was kind of doing something as simple as just a solid black rectangle, um, you know when I fill that in, that shape is going to cover um, pretty much that kind of portion of the mug. So you can see it's a nice sort of front kind of position. Um, depending on the size of the design I might bring it in a little bit more, stay away from the top, but that gives me a nice easy area to work with. So I just take that out. And there we go, one mug rack template ready to go. Uh, I can print onto that side, that side, I can use that entire space if I want to. So a sort of a full wrap would be something of those dimensions. Um, but also having those dividing lines makes it quite easy for me when I'm trying to position you know, text or images and I want it to be right back in the center of the mug. Having those guidelines makes it just a little bit quicker and easier to do. So what I'm going to do is I will save this um, and I will upload it and I'll put a link in the description so it's available for anybody to use if they want to. Um, that's it really, just a nice quick short video for you. What I would quite like to know is what else would you like me to do? Uh, if there are particular things you'd like me to cover in terms of sublimation to do with mugs, I also have a flat press, um, maybe some Photoshop techniques, anything like that, put a comment in uh, the comments area below and I'll see what I can do for you. Thanks.